Hello guys, CST, um, yes, Dark Cloud again, hooray, um, we left off in the new village of Queens, but I've just been boosting my character a little bit, I've got like, um, a load of weapons, I was thinking that I'd, um, <clears throat> I would upgrade the weapons, i build up the weapons in each city, so in the first city I'd, I'd build it up to the first level, in the second city I built it up to the second level and so on. But I've only I haven't even done the first one yet, so who knows? But I've got a load of weapons, they're all pretty powerful. So it should be good. Um how do I get to my map? There we go. Alright. So a couple of things. Um a couple of week maybe a week or two ago, my PC well, three well, let's say a month ago, um uh my PC died. Uh, I lost hours and hours of footage, um, I lost Assassin's Creed, Kingdom Hearts, um, and like six hours of this Minecraft video, oh, it might not have been six hours, that's a bit exaggerating, uh, loads of hours on uh, <clears throat> this video, Minecraft video I was doing, so, um, yeah, we've lost a lot of stuff, I've caught up to where we were on Assassin's Creed, and, um, uh, also on that note, when I got my PC back, we did Batman, and uh, halfway through, the footage got corrupted. So, yes, I have to do the Batman again. In fact, I've already done the Batman, I've got up to where we were, we just have to record it again. So, it's not been very good at all. Um, no, it's been terrible luck so far. Um, I can't remember what happened last time, I don't know why there's three missing from Layer 2. Um, I don't know, but let's just do it anyway. Uh, so yeah, it's been a bit hectic, a bit annoying, very annoying. Uh, well, let's just change my normal weapon. Hmm. Oh, I don't seem to have a normal weapon. Um, I messed about a little bit. Uh, I'll use this. I think this breaks easier. So um, a couple, uh, a few things. Not really anything news like, but just like stuff I've been doing. I've been, I never, oh, I've been watching the Terminator series, like all of them. Um, I remember when I was a kid, the second film was really popular. Terminator 2 Judgment Day was really popular. I mean, back when we had like five channels, there was like BBC One, BBC Two, ITV, Channel Four, and Channel Five, and that was what they were called. <clears throat> Remember, Terminator 2 was on uh, two different channels at the same time. It was amazing. I love that film. But I've never seen the first one, so I just rewatched that. Oh, rewatched. I just watched that, and it was awesome. But I've also watched like uh, Terminator 3. I remember watching that. I didn't like it the first time I watched it, but I've watched it again. I don't think it was bad as when I originally watched it. But I got like this DVD, uh, I got like a special DVD edition, so that when you first put the DVD on, like Arnold's there, and he gives like a message like, I love this film, you should love it too. So, that's not how he talks, but you know. King's Hideout. Okay, so I guess it, Queens is run by a king, is that it? I don't know. But I've watched all the, uh, the Terminator Sarah Connor Chronicles, um, they're pretty, they, it was good, but um, like there's a few stuff I didn't like in it. I knew that they had a lot of problems with writing. Like, I think there was like a strike or something, um, and there was a lot of problems going on with it. And you can you can pretty much tell by the end, but they were ex I'm pretty sure they were expecting like a third season to be the start, but it's been cancelled. So uh, it's a shame. It was good. I liked it. It was uh, like definitely like sequel baiting. Hmm. I'm just going to talk about the well Terminator and Gen Terminator series in general. Is that with the Terminators? They don't really know if they want to make the good ones human. If you know what I mean. Like in Terminator Two, um, the Terminator like they take it like um, it's like a learning computer as well. So what they do is they take out the chips like because. <laughs> okay, let's start again. The Terminator was built by Skynet, the bad guys. They reprogrammed it in the future and sent it back. The people that built it, the enemy, put like a uh, a little thing on the chip so it can't learn too much, you know, so it can't really figure stuff out, I guess. Um, and then they fix that, and then originally they teach it like 
They don't really teach it humanity, it just understands it, I guess. Like at the end, no, there's like one point where the kid starts crying, he's like, why are you crying? And it's, it's just like something humans do. And then by the end, the kid's crying again, and he says, um, I understand now why you cry. It is something I cannot do. So it's like, he understands it, he just doesn't feel it, I guess. Hmm. I find it interesting to think about, like, humanity in Terminator. I might do a video about it. Especially in the Sarah Connor Chronicles with Cameron. That was it was weird. I don't know, I don't think they knew what they were going to do with her. It's like they want it to be a killing machine, but they also want it to be something else, I guess. Alright, I've just lost sound on that, but it doesn't matter, I guess. I don't know why the sound goes, that's weird. Like I I put the start recording, sound works, and like five minutes in the sound stops. I'm not entirely sure why. Oh great, flapping fish. Um okay. I'm meant to use ice on that to keep it cold. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Can I eat it? Yeah. Now, what's it for then if I can't eat it? It will spoil this yeah, but what do I do with it? I can't eat it. Does all I eat it? She is a cat. He eats anything. I'm not sure. Oh, I want to get rid of it because I want to see what's in this chest. I can't. I'm hardwired to get loot. I want to know what everything is. Oh, great. I think it was better than a flapping fish. Maybe I'll throw the flapping fish. See what that does. I've thrown it away now, so. Pointless. Hmm. I just realised in this game how hard it is to build up a weapon as well. It takes ages. Like I'm on, like it's just so much. It's not so much stuff that so much different stuff you have to get up, but you have to get like you can't get it all up in one go. Like if it needs thunder and ice, I just can't put one thunder and one ice. In. I probably have to put like several thunder and ice in so I can complete it. But I don't know. Look at this free at one. Go on. That's someone else I've just thought about, the Terminator games. I played... I had a... Um, this is something. I, I've always wanted to figure out what this was, but when I was a kid, when I was too young to remember it, uh, I remember it slightly, I had like a gaming console. Um, it didn't use cassettes, it, well it used like uh, tapes, you know, like um, old music tapes. Um, I remember there was a Terminator 2 game for it, and I remember between levels you had to like do a little puzzle like um, you have to reconnect the wires in Arnold's arm and it's all like color based it's like red goes to red but I remember I couldn't figure it out because I was like a stupid kid but I, I, can't, I don't know what that console is I haven't found out what it is today I've looked for it I have never found out what it was I remember we sold it a car boot and I was sad about it it's like my mum didn't want me to play video games and like the next year she bought me a P PlayStation 2 which started this entire mad madness that I call my addiction. Hmm. Attack 1, good. I need that. Oh yeah, Terminator games. I had Terminator Dawn of Fate. Uh, I had, that was the first one I ever, well besides that Terminator 2, but that was the one I played through was Dawn of Fate and I can't, I can't remember it being good, um, but I remember stuff about it being good. Like, uh, you could shoot Terminator's heads off, they carry on going. You collect the heads and a lot of bonus stuff. And I think that game had slow motion. Um, yeah, I think it definitely had slow motion. Like, you had adrenaline, that when you use melee attacks and stuff like that, it was good. It was. I, can't, I, I think I should play it again. I think it might be different now I'm older. But then all the Terminator games have gone downhill since that one. I mean, like Terminator, all the other Terminators that have come out. But I think Terminator Three, uh, it was not Rise. No, it's not the Rise. Uh, there was like, there's a Rise and Fall of the Machines or something like that, which was they were both terrible. And then there was one where you play as Arnold, uh, and I can't remember. I can't remember the. I can't remember much of it. I remember I played a demo of it, and I remember it was awesome. And I've seen like gameplay footage of it, and it was it's awesome. So I don't know. I'll. I want to check that one out, but all the others are terrible. Even the Terminator Salvation, which was t absolutely awful. Oh, that was strange. That reminds me, Terminator Salvation, the film. 
um, I heard a lot of people weren't really wasn't sure of the sure of it. Um, I, the only problem I had with it is um, oh, I've forgotten his name, Christopher. Do you know the guy who plays the new Batman in the Dark Knight films? I forgot his name. It's Christopher. It's not no Chris, Christopher Nolan is the director, I think. Anyway, the 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 actor that plays Batman in the new Batman films, he plays John Connor, and it doesn't fit at all. Like he's doing like a Batman voice the entire thing. I think that's the only voice he can do is like this really like gritty Batman voice. I don't know if I could do that voice. I don't think I'd ever stop. So I, I understand. 